The Thwaites Glacier is one of the largest in Antarctica, and it is melting at an alarming rate. The world took notice earlier this month when temperatures there hit nearly 70 degrees. But getting a better read on what's happening has been a challenge. Our science correspondent Miles O'Brien gave scientist David Holland and his team camera equipment to document their mission to the glacier. Miles has this dispatch as part of our series, The Leading Edge. It's an urgent scientific mission at the far edge of what's possible, to the edge of a massive melting glacier. It's the largest, most menacing source of rising sea levels all over the world. Welcome to the Thwaites Glacier in West. Thwaites so important. Why is it worth the effort? So it's the most vulnerable place on Earth, and the curious thing is, how is it that it's so vulnerable, and at the same time it has warm water in front of it today? These are just two things that may be coincidental, but they're both real, and they're happening. For years, scientists have warily watched Thwaites from afar using NASA satellites. About the size of Florida, it is vanishing at an alarming rate, retreating about a half mile and thinning as much as 15 feet every year. It sits on land below sea level. There is nothing to stop its accelerating retreat. It could melt away in a few decades. Some call it the Doomsday Glacier. If Thwaites were to melt or drop into the sea tomorrow, how much sea level rise would we expect? So it's less than a meter. It's probably of order of, say, 65 centimeters. Then the neighboring ice would become unstable. And so altogether, it would be more than three meters of ice, something of At the height of summer, even the permanent ice caps are touched by the power of the sun. Meltwater channeled down from high on these ice caps pours over a precipice where the ice meets the ocean. Along this 200 mile wall of ice, a thousand freshwater cascades plummet into the sea. As July draws on, the great melt reaches its peak. The greatest seasonal change on the planet has taken place. The sea ice that once extended all the way to the horizon is now open ocean. In just three months, the sun has won its battle with the ice. Over two and a half million square miles of ice has melted away, uncovering thousands of islands surrounded by open ocean. But in recent years, the scale of this melt has been growing. And for one animal, this is a critical issue. A mother bear and her adolescent cub rest on a fragment of sea ice. With the melt, they're forced to swim ever greater distances to hunt for seals. Their Arctic home is increasingly vulnerable to a changing climate, and this year there has been even less ice than normal. If future melts are as extreme as this one, bears like these may starve or drown, lost at sea. This is one of the last pieces of ice now adrift in the open ocean. The polar bear's icy world has melted away. <laughs> 